Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this session, so we are going to discuss about one interview question. So, that is how to override a method and why a method overriding and along with that one more important question a simple concept why cannot we override a constructor. So, these are the three things first of all. So, what is overriding advantages or simply use and next question next question why we cannot override constructor why we cannot override constructor. So, definitely so they will ask the questions so about uh, so method overriding and special method overriding special method overriding means what in Java what is the special method is a constructor we know this here it is first of all what is overriding a simple definition. So, overriding means so defining a method inside the child class with the same name and same signature of its parent class method inside the parent class already one method is there with the same name and same signature. So, we are defining the method inside the child class. So, one example if you see the example. So, then you will get more clarity on that for example, here so we are taking one class we are taking one class the class name is just consider is a galaxy mobile and here it is inside that a galaxy mobile. So, one method is there. So, any method we can take suppose so any one method suppose method is a camera camera is a method and here it is a camera is a camera is a 12 megapixel camera some information we are writing inside this information we are writing inside this and here. So, what is a method overriding means first of all someone should extend this class. So, there should be a parent child relation. So, we should implement. So, here here it is a one more class we are taking class right the enhanced version of a galaxy is nothing but a edge suppose just consider a Samsung edge extending the features of a galaxy mobile because so much already implemented in galaxy and just the release the next version we know already we discussed what is inheritance and all ok. So, here it is and here so whenever here it is edge mobile is extending from the galaxy mobile. So, automatically so what all the functionalities available in galaxy mobile so will come to edge mobile edge mobile. So, functionalities means what for example, camera automatically it will come to here and now what is method overriding means defining a method here it is method name is a written type is a void method name is a camera and it is not taking any argument signature also same signature same signature and here we are just rewriting the logic system dot out dot print ln. So, this is 20 megapixel camera 20 megapixel. So, definitely they will ask the question. So, anyway in the parent class right the functionality is available as we extended from the edge class edge class. So, automatically you can access that camera functionality in the edge class also then why you are overriding. So, definite question why we are overriding means what only one answer simply whatever the functionality existing functionality available in this object it is not suitable. So, for the extended version it is advanced it is a next version it is a future release. So, for this it is not suitable the so, name is the same name we cannot change the name the so, camera always we can call it as a camera only. So, we cannot change the name of the cam then what we have to do we have to rewrite the logic what is inside for rewriting we should override the method overriding the method to rewrite the logic. So, here it is we are rewriting from 12 megapixel to 20 megapixel we are implementing. So, guys. So, what is method overriding simply existing functionality we are updating in the extended class. So, that is what we called method overriding. So, method overriding is very very important in inheritance concepts so, that is why most of the questions they will ask on a method overriding. This is simply what is method overriding once again simply the definition method overriding means defining a method in the child class 
with the same name and same signature of its parent class. This is parent class. So, that is a definition simply. Advantages, so why we are overriding the method means the existing functionality is not sufficient to the latest one. So, that is why we are rewriting the logic 12 megapixel to 20 megapixel name no need to change. So, this is the advantage of a method overriding and next one simple question why cannot we override a constructor? If you just try then you can understand ok see here just take the class the class is a parent class the parent and child we are implementing to understand is a parent class and next one the child class is extending from the parent class is parent. Now, here it is in this case inside the parent class we are writing one special method special method means what is a constructor. So, constructor we are writing we know that class name and constructor name so both are same sir inside so nothing just empty any logic we can write right in the process of object creation generally we use for initialization object initialization and of course for the concept to understand the concept all the things not required much stuff not required here it is in a class parent the constructor name is also parent now what is the concept of overriding overriding means what inside the child class we are defining a method with the same name and same signature of its parent class nothing but we are writing like this parent parent and we are writing this is the one is that possible no because in the child class the constructor name of a class and as well as a constructor should be same na? but here it is see look at this so what is that what is that name of the constructor is a parent but what is the class name child then how it will act as a constructor no so special method always belongs to a particular class so here it is we cannot override the constructor we cannot override the special method right we can override only we can override only right ordinary method only a general method only we can override we cannot override the special method and the advantages of overriding means what just rewriting the logic if one functionality so which is already present in the existing object which is not sufficient to the extended object. So, then automatically we will rewrite the logic we will not change the name and we will not change the input type and all ok. So, only internal logic we will change. So, that is what we called method overriding concepts and advantages of advantages and disadvantages of method overriding ok. Hope you understood all right this video for more videos please subscribe to Narayshati channel thank you thank you all.